Hi everybody, this is Jameson with Operation Carnivore. Uh, if you're not aware, Operation Carnivore is uh, my recovery over the next three to six months after having a uh, orthopedic surgery on my right shoulder, specifically a biceps tenodesis. And uh, seeing what the carnivore diet can do to accelerate my healing. Uh, I believe the carnivore diet has all of the proper nutrients the body needs to help it uh, heal itself. So I'm very excited for this opportunity, even though I am bummed out to have the injury. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to showing everybody how it goes. <clears throat> As you can see, I had that uh, biceps tenodesis yesterday. So I'm all padded up, was able to get a shirt on. Um, and I'm in this fancy sling here. <clears throat> and that is for the next four to six weeks. So completely immobilized in that. And then after that, I can start some light PT. As far as the surgery goes, uh, it went pretty well. It took about two hours. Uh, it was done under general anesthesia. So I, did, I was intubated um, for that time, had that breathing tube. And then when the surgery was done, they removed that. Uh, I spent about an hour and a half in the recovery room in the PACU, uh, just kind of waiting for that anesthesia to wear off. <clears throat> so I was uh, discharged, so I was outpatient. Uh, my fiance drove me home. And uh, on the way home, about two blocks away from the house, I did throw up, unfortunately. Um, most of it went into the Emesis bag, only a little bit on uh, the floor of my fiance's car, but 90% in the bag, so not too bad. <clears throat> then uh, after I threw up though, I felt uh, phenomenal, uh, gave it another hour, and then was able to eat something. And because I did receive antibiotics for surgery, um, which was kind of unavoidable, but I was not excited about uh, I took that into account, and I think the gut microbiome is a huge part of our overall health. So having had those antibiotics, uh, the first thing I took afterwards was a raw uh, bovine colostrum, which I get from a regenerative farmer um, here, um, not too far away. So I'm fortunate to have that. Um, as you can see, it's right here, it's kind of yellow. Uh, very high fat content has a lot of good nutrition like nutrition uh, I am able to tolerate raw dairy so it works great for me uh, it has all of the benefits of raw dairy and then um, some added benefits to like the gut health and immune system <clears throat> so I thought that was important to start off with um, just to, to kind of get my gut back on track since I had to take those antibiotics uh, along with that I do talk with Brian from Ancestral Supplements. Uh, he is the owner and operator. Uh, very good guy. <clears throat> he will help you out. Um, very pro animal based eating. Um, I think their company is phenomenal. But I got the gallbladder supplements as well as the pancreas supplements. <clears throat> so I took those with the colostrum to kind of really get things boosted in my GI system. And then uh, I was able to sleep through the night, did really well, no pain medication. And uh, this morning, started the diet back up, just rip-roaring. <clears throat> Had six eggs, uh, pasture-raised, and uh, started my surgical stack, I call it. <clears throat> so with Brian from Ancestral Supplements, we went with Living Bone. trachea, and then beef tallow, and beef organs. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, they were out of bone marrow at this point, so I am using uh, Hardened Soil, um, Paul Saladino's company for that, uh, their liver and marrow supplement. So that should be on the way. I'm hoping it's going to be here tomorrow. But those are all just like the supplements I'm using to kind of boost things, speed things up. But really, the main focus is on the everyday eating. So uh, I have a lot of grass-fed beef, grass-fed lamb. Uh, I've got some grass, 
fed elk <clears throat> that uh, luckily I'm able to get my hands on. I have a friend who raises bison and elk. So my freezers are full of all the good meat I'm going to need. All of these supplements are just kind of for a boost. So yeah, I think things are going very well. This being the first day after surgery, I'm very optimistic. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm hoping to get uh, about 10,000 steps in today, um, but my shoulder is a little sore. So we'll see what we can do, but it is important to get up, get moving. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, things go better. I'll give you an update in about a week here. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll take it one step at a time. All right, well, thank you uh, for tuning in. Please like my video, subscribe and share. All these things help. Kind of want to get the message out. I really think this way of eating can heal a lot of people. I think we've gotten so far away from like the nutrition that we need, if we can spread this message and kind of just show the results, uh, people will hopefully start to get more on board. So, all right, thank you. You guys have a good day. Bye.